Go. The 5.6 km ceiling became operational in 2009. Its maintenance and toll collection is managed by a company called Mumbai Entry Point Limited (MEPL). Jahin Maheshkar owns this company and he has a very good relationship across this political spectrum, from 666 crores to 1306 crores. The cost of this project escalated a lot in the later stage. Thus, the journey on this landmark has become expensive for users. Most importantly, travelers will have to pay toll for the next 35 years. The BJP Shiv Sena government has failed to offer relief to the Mumbaiites from this loot. As per estimates, the Mumbaiikers will have to pay the concerned toll till 2052 to settle the contractor's bill. The Reserve Bank of India approved a dividend payment of rupees fifty-seven thousand crore to the government. The RBI board approved the transfer of rupees exact fifty-seven thousand hundred and twenty-eight crore as surplus to the central government for the counting year two thousand nineteen and twenty. Contingency risk buffer is at five point five percent. The central bank said in a release. This decision was taken by five hundred eighty-fourth meeting of the central board of the RBI chaired by Governor Shikanta Das. The board approved the transfer. Ambassador Vikram Mishri today met Major General C. Guai, Director of the Office of International Military Corporation of the Central Military Commission, and briefed him on India's stance via vice the situation on the borders in Eastern Ladakh UT. A tweet by the Indian Embassy here said. The Central Military Commission which is overall high command of the Chinese military is headed by Chinese President Xi Jinping. This is the second major meeting Misri had with senior citizen Chinese officials in the last 3 days. On August 12, Misri met Liu Jingchan, Deputy Director of the Office of the Communist Party of China, Central Committee Foreign Affairs Commission. Misri's meeting with these office officials comes against the backup backdrop of reports that the disengagement process between the troops of the two countries has not moved forward as expected along the line of actual control (LAC) in Eastern Ladakh. At the latest round of military talks, the Indian side insisted forcefully on complete disengagement of Chinese troops at the earliest and immediate restoration of status quo ante in all areas of Eastern. So friends that is all for today's evening we'll be back again tomorrow with some another refreshing news until then stay safe be safe please wear a mask while you go outside